from here on, I want to bring something back to my country and to my people and say, hey, you know what? This country is really cool. You're going to get to see that. And their food is amazing. Welcome folks, welcome to the Backyard Cafe. Don't forget, eat, live, love, laugh. That's what we are about. Enjoy the show and I'll see you when I see you. Peace and love. Because when I've we had the Moxie Lacey before, but I'm happy now that I'm getting to, to make put it. that, to make it and to highlight it. Because yes, I know for sure a lot of Guyanese never heard of it before. But and I'm not just doing this for Guyana, I'm doing it for myself and for folks all around the world. Okay, the, the main thing also is the rice, what you're using. Because in Guyana, you have a different type of rice, and Suriname, that different type of rice also. Mm. The rice also is bringing another ketchup to your food. Oh. That's why you don't cook your rice too, too long. It mustn't be soft too much. You want it al dente. It has to be between. Al dente, it just mm, has to be just right, not too soft, not too hard. Not too hard. And we're cooking this with coconut milk? Coconut milk and coconut oil coconut oil so yeah. basically in Guyana we call something like that a shine rice or a cook up rice cook up rice yeah but I see y'all cooking the rice longer pull the water out put yeah. it back <laughs> yeah because they are the 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 the, the softer it gets it's better man you want you want to get that soft rice and right our cook up rice is different and I know yeah. your moxie lacy is different and that is why I want to learn yeah, you're to gonna do it. see the different. That's why the different gonna. You can see the different of the dish and the taste. Good. That is bringing the culture together. Good. And um, when is this actually served? Every Sunday. Mostly. Every uh, household and the daytime. Uh, in my youth, there was always between the weeks of weekend, mm -hmm. and mostly the dishes used to make when there is not enough things to cook and the beans were there was salt fish there was uh, salt meat chicken so you fish. have beans in there also beans which this is the uh, this between it don't matter what you have you can still make it with no meat or with fish you can make it with chicken so this is basically the same thing we have like like i was saying this is it's, but it's they make it different it's, it's everybody have their own hand mostly the moxa lace is from your heart when you cook that's what it means yes moxie lacy from the heart it's from the heart it's when you're cooking it's so fighting to cook so to i choose i chose the right dish to take back to take back i chose the right dish man you're so deep brother um what else it's the culture food the people now how what's your story how, easy i don't know if you want to touch base on this right mm -hmm. how easy it is for you as a tour guide right mm -hmm. to get around to get the information you need to get the help that you need to get the funding that you need okay the fun the fun man is uh it's like i'm gonna challenge myself again for a new challenge there's a new challenge again mm -hmm. normally we don't we don't do that often to do like the culinary tour like this with a franchise with Guyana and Suriname. Most we do it local people, we go somewhere, we taste, it's different. But this time we go with, we make it more bigger. We make it an exchange with our neighbors. That's right. And that's why we're here, right? Just to give you a heads up. It's not just me coming and do the, uh, the food trail or the, um, the YouTube channel food around the world tour kind of thing it's what we already started a few years ago the culinary tour so we are actually encouraging Guyanese to travel Guyanese to visit their neighboring country and so that you can see that there are people like us out there right and Suriname is just the same a little busier 
<laughs> taller buildings. And taller buildings and wooden city. But the lady offered me saw fish and rice today. I was so floored. I'm like, that's my favorite food. She was like, oh, you need to try saw fish and rice. I'm like, man, I just came from Ghana. She's like, no, we on better. I said, no, 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 don't go there. <laughs> right? I was like, don't go there. I like my saw fish and rice. But I really wanted to have, like, I want to get that taste of my, my, my nasi garang and mm -hmm. the, uh, the bami. And bami. bami. Bami kip. Nasi kip. Yes. Right? So, we want to encourage folks to travel. And this is where, it, this is the beginning of it here. So, instead of me doing a culinary tour alone, we partnered up with Malio. And Malio and his team would be taking care of our culinary tour whenever they uh, get in contact with us the package is going to be set up and that's why we're here to set up that package right and to get more people involved Guyanese the diaspora and tourists also this is the main track that we we wanted mm -hmm. and it's a new thing for Suriname also to put Suriname also on the map uh, mostly a lot of people is over the all over the world our dish also is coming uh, and also in Korea uh -huh. The wow. local people there, one of the local people is also uh, Surinamese. He born here, he's now in Korea, but he's trying to develop also the local food in uh -huh. Korea. How would the tourism director take this, what we're doing? Uh, he will take it with open arms, because it's also a new challenge for him on his map. Uh, there's no other two operator that came in with Sasa uh, ad opportunity to do the join. Oh, I should say it. brilliant. It's a brilliant opportunity. Huh? And that's why he won't take no mistake, no no regret. Say, let it come in. We do it together. Okay, good, good, good. So we're actually going to get to meet the tourism director. There is the, uh, your Tararika. Oh, yes. So we have Tararika. We have the Royal Tararika. And then we have Eco Resort that's in behind there. And I think Teradica owns all of these buildings here too? No, not all. This Tangalo is also from Teradica. Tangalo is Teradica. Yeah, this, there you can get your, your coffee. Yeah, they do and, a uh, nice burger. Yeah, nice burger I also. I had a really nice burger there the last time. And I got a hanging plant from them. Oh? <laughs> I got a hanging. I, sh I shouldn't say that on camera, right? <laughs> I'm they sitting there, the plant is hanging, I love plants. Uh, they won't hey. know, they don't know. <laughs> they wouldn't know. <laughs> they won't know it. Yes, Malio, so keep going. Mm -hmm. And now we are in like the heart of the center. The center where, where all everything the happened. Can, uh, these are all uh, restaurants. Mostly it's weekend. Mm -hmm. The weekend started Friday, Saturday. And mostly people come uh, with friends, family. Uh, a lot of the family now came from Holland or from the Caribbean. Right. They come to Fel uh, here to visit the family. But now the mostly most of them they now in the interior on vacation. Wow. So folks would actually go out to the interior to vacation. Yes. For a week. It's this weekend. Maybe they they, they stick a little week. So you guys use up everything you have. Mm -hmm. You because guys are proud people. You're proud of what you Yeah, have. we are proud too, and I mean, <laughs> huh? I have to say, we're proud. That is so nice, man. We're proud. That's why you see the crowd. Mostly, we come later on, uh, uh, on the day, on the street. Uh -huh. That is the famous at Fat. Well, a sidewalk cafe, I stayed here. <laughs> at the back. Right. I stayed in the back. The noise was, was crazy. It was crazy, eh? I liked it. But I came with uh, uh, older women mm -hmm. and um, it was tough on them. But it doesn't seem like they have a party no more like, like, like they used to. So, no, because uh, if on the other hand is um, the Royal Teradica. That's the Royal. There you have all the coffee. But mostly all the coffees, they open more later on the day. Mm -hmm. Earlier today, you were telling me, give me the history on Paramaribo. The name, where we got the name from? The Paramuru Creek. We're what? gonna do that all tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, so tomorrow you're, you're gonna, gonna get the whole package. You're gonna give me the whole package. The whole so package. So we're not gonna give out the, the no. secret now. Good. Tomorrow. So we have to leave stuff for tomorrow. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And we're gonna save Malio's voice 
for tomorrow. tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And um, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. It's the first ever team up of neighboring countries, man. Suriname and Guyana. Suriname and Guyana. No, Delvin Adams. Back here. Listen, Canada. listen, listen, listen. We're gonna speak Dutch. Dutch. Or we're gonna say Taki Taki. I prefer the Taki Taki. Dutch is gonna kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta translate. Uh -huh. When you're coming in, we say Fawaka. Fawaka. It's how are you? Fawaka. That's Taki Taki. That is a local. Okay. For, but for now, we're gonna say who had head. Who had head? Who had head? Who had head? Who? Who? Had. Had. Head. Who had head? Met you. Who had head met you? Mm -hmm. How is going with you? Who had head met you? And you gonna say to me, head had good. Oh, oh, good lord, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> who had head met you? What is it? Met. Met you. Met you. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that who had it met you, and you're gonna tell me. That got good with me. Oh, good Lord, man. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that so fast, man. But thank you so much. No worry, buddy.